Hey YouTube, how's it going? So I recently purchased this Duromax XP 13,000 EH from Amazon for uh, around $1,500. And uh, this is the hybrid unit, so you can use propane or gas to power it or to produce electricity. And uh, I recently had this, this problem where I would start the generator and it would start surging so it would rev, rev up and down up and down up and down continuously until it eventually died uh, with no load connected to it so no electric devices nothing connected over here and uh, uh instead of trying to return it to amazon or anything like that i called duromax and they were really really helpful trying to get this working for me since i want this backup generator from my house just in case we lose electricity um, <clears throat> and uh, what they this they either figured out or, or they know about it is they said to bypass this fuel selector switch so from the propane to gasoline and uh, it, was, it was a pretty simple uh, bypass thing that they had me try out and uh, it did actually fix the surging so they figured out that this fuel selector switch, right, this guy over here, is bad. And that thing is currently out of stock, in back order. It's, it's going to be a couple months before they get it. Their options for me was, <clears throat> if this fuel selector switch was bad, I could be in a kind of wait list and get one whenever I get one, or just return the unit, the complete unit, back to Amazon and uh, get a new one. Which, uh, that wasn't a really good solution for me, uh, since I wanted a generator, and these things have been going out of stock pretty quickly. So, I'm going to show you what I did to fix, or to uh, kind of do a workaround for the surging, and while I wait for this fuel selector switch to uh, arrive at my home. <clears throat> so, it's pretty simple. You've got your gas tank right here. You've got this uh, on-off fuel val valve. And this guy directs the fuel over here to this fuel selector switch, which then, depending on your mode over here, either gas or propane, gasoline or propane, it either sends propane or gasoline to the carburetor. And you can see right here, this line goes from the gas tank to the fuel selector switch, and then back in over here to the carburetor. So, pretty simple to bypass. I've already done it. So, I've already removed these hose clamps, which all you need is a pair of needle nose pliers. And you can see that I already removed them. So, that's going to be much easier on me. So, basically, what you do is you just push on these guys and you wiggle hose clamp out from this fuel line, the one going to your carburetor, and then this fuel line, the one coming out of the gas tank. So just kind of remove these guys, already removed. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this one off and please make sure that this fuel valve is off. Don't have it on or else you're going to have lots and lots of gasoline just spilling over crankcase, everything. So make sure it's off. You've got a sticker right here, completely off. So no fuel is going to come out of there. And uh, since I've already uh, kind of sucked this thing dry, so <clears throat> to put it in storage, there's no fuel in the lines anymore. So, see, remove this guy off. Now, this guy is going to come off from here. This one, this line, the one that goes from the carburetor to the fuel selector switch. In order to bypass this switch, you're just going to connect it directly here to the fuel tank. And this hose clamp is just going to go back in. And uh, sorry about that, I'm doing this one-handed, so it might be a bit difficult for me holding the camera and the needle nose pliers. But just basically, just put this guy in there. Well, I overshot it a bit. And ah, there we go. These things let go. All right. So that is the bypass. So now you've got fuel tank line connected directly to the carburetor. 
and that should be good to go. Now, this guy, this guy, either you can just leave it hanging out there, nothing's going to happen to it as long as it doesn't touch any source of heat or anything, it won't, it won't break on you. But what I decided to do is just kind of shove it in here and the fuse selector switch and just leave it there. I'm mainly going to use this guy for uh, with with gasoline now, so I'm not too worried about the propane. Uh, <clears throat> I'll try to figure that out later if uh, I get a new fuse selector switch or if I need to use propane for whatever reason. And that is pretty much it. That's, that's your bypass. And now I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to turn this guy on and it will no longer surge. All right, so in order to turn this guy on, uh, it's pretty easy. So it might surge a little bit at the beginning since there's no gas in the lines. So don't worry about that. It should eventually just idle like normal. So right now it's in the off position. You're going to put it in on. So, oops, sorry about that. There we go. Pushed it down. I was pull it, pushing it up. It's not correct. This is where it shows you how to do it. So push that guy down. So now. This valve is open, so now gasoline can travel over there. The fuel selector switch, even though it's bypassed, you still have to put it in gas setting or else a generator. There's some electric components connected to the fuel selector switch you can see right here, which tell the generator that everything is good and it can turn on. <coughs> so you've got that guy uh, in gas, and you can see here you have your uh, instructions pretty much on how to turn it on so fuel switch to gas and then we're going to turn on the battery switch so this guy let's get turned on that guy's on already and then uh, you just press the start button so let's let me start this guy storage mode and turn off the battery switch and now this line should be out of fuel since it pretty much got sucked dry over there so uh, that is pretty much how uh, I put it back into storage but you could hear the revving up and down up and down up and down because the uh, engine was being starved from fuel and it's revving up and down to try to maintain the voltage and the frequency over here for power. And that is basically uh, <clears throat> how it was surging before I did the bypass. And you, you, you saw that when I initially turned it on, um, it surged for a little bit. And it's because the fuel line over here was uh, didn't have anything in it. So uh, the carburetor was pulling, pulling more and more and more until it eventually... Uh, evened out and it started running pretty much smoothly so if you guys have this problem and uh, you don't want to return the unit back to Amazon or wherever you bought it and you want to 
wait for your fuel selector switch or whatnot, you can do this bypass method and pretty much uh, use the generator after that. I'm, I've already plugged it into the house and I've been able to uh, power the power basically my whole house with the generator with a uh, fuel selector switch bypass like that. So let me know what you guys think and uh, send me any comments if you have any questions and I'll try to help you guys out or at least uh, show you where and how to contact these Duramax guys. So again, uh, thank you YouTube guys for watching and have a good one.